What's up, guys? Welcome back to FS17. I uh, just have a little video here. Uh, do some mod showcasing. This is the John Deere R4045 I made um, back in 15. It has all the interactive controls. Uh, also, the hood. Nice little touch. Can uh, animate these all in an indoor, outdoor. Um, has the moving uh, wheels, mouse control, so you can really kind of nitpick how you want to adjust these narrow wheels that you buy default. Um, they're actually work with Giants' um, uh, wheel lane script. So it won't actually wreck any of your crop. If you, uh, the Susi tracks work the same way. Um, if you use the flotation tires, that will actually trample your crop. So. So. Starting off, we're going to have to buy some liquid fertilizer. Turn on our monitor here. This will hold 1,200 gallon, or uh, yeah, 1,200 gallons, close to um, 4,000 ish, ish liters, whatever it actually turns out to be. So I don't think it should wreck the grass if we travel. So this has the same folding and unfolding animations and then it's all mouse control too. So you can get really uh, picky with your booms, they move fairly quickly, you set your main boom. It's uh, scripted to run with the joysticks. Take her hut off. So it's the same size as the in-game New Holland, the, S the SP400 or something like that. Same working with, I believe it's the same capacity. Uh, it's just a little bit different design, a different color. Doesn't really do anything differently, it's the exact same job. lights work. Really huge fan of um, the new lighting system. You can actually uh, really light up your whole work area. Unlike in uh, 
15, where it would just lay all the time and the lights would kind of cut out. Attach that and then we'll put a little bit of different uh, configuration of wheels. Um, I like how the actual enter animation works. Uh, so we can come up here, we can customize it to flotation. It's going to cost us some money to put on the larger tires. And we can um, change it to the um, uh, Susie tracks, which I kind of like this more, um, the actual track, but we'll go back, we'll put the flotations on it, see how the dry box spreader works. So everything comes back up since it's an animation. Should be able to. Fill up our dry box. So you can get the John Deere green, um, or you can actually get the uh, stainless steel version. Same thing, same capacity. Similar animations in 15. Um, belt works. Um, I don't have any belt animations yet um, that would uh, kind of show the fertilizer on the belt being dropped in. That is the R4045, currently the biggest sprayer John Deere makes. Um, this is a bale trailer I was using at the end of uh, 15. Um, it has a new UV map, new textures on it. The uh, Fontaine Xfinity. Um, slightly disappointed in the uh, belt system you can only have 16 belts so I couldn't quite complete my trailer um, I think I had like uh, close to 18 maybe 19 belts on it I had to take a couple off you can only have 16 so it's kind of bizarre why they put these restrictions and limitations on components in belts you know, I think most of us that are going to attempt to to make a more realistic piece of equipment you know we all have pretty decent computers you know 
most people play games besides farming simulator that are pretty GPU and CPU intensive, so. This is a uh, stainless steel Schmeiser. 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 Max Schmeiser. It's such a weird name. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that. But. It's a rear dump. It has two different tip references, so you can use the door, or you can use the main door uh, to unload your crane. And basically, anything in this game can go in this trailer. Bulk. Wood chips, potatoes, beets, anything. Have our Dakota Green trailer up here still. So, what do we got a lot of? We got corn, we got a lot of corn. Blinkers on this, digging the whole uh, lighting from the actual blinker and brake lights too. Got the reverse lights. So now you bring up the uh, F1 menu. Go over your trigger. And then you can kind of configure if you want the main door. Um, do that, it unlocks and all your grain tips out. Or, if you don't like that, it's going to close the latch on us. You can say, I want to tip the green door, which will maybe doesn't like that. Always try on air. It's too big of a tip collision, I guess. It's a collision of 0.5. This tip collision is actually uh, 2.5 in width. So I guess I need to go find like my auger or like a shovel to dump into. And that's that. So thanks for watching.